Welcome to our show. The next hour brings entertainment and information to those of you who are young at heart. Here are your hosts, Lynn Peterson and Al Jones. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. Welcome to another edition of Young at Heart. I'm Lynn Peterson, my co-host. Al Jones. Yes, we keep asking him that every week just to make sure he remembers who he is. <laughs> I looking, wonder why. Oh, I don't know, because you are definitely young at heart, and you're looking yes. quite dapper this well, morning. I, I can't help it. It's one of them there things that you must understand that I, Big Al, must look dapper for those who might want to see if I look dapper. I kind of sometimes <laughs> feel like I'm Melissa and you're um, her mother, <laughs> Joan Rivers, and we're on the <laughs> Melissa and Joan Rivers show, I swear to goodness. I can't help it. I know, you're just, you're, you're too wonderful. Well, I had a uh, kind of an exciting weekend. I was part of the Nathan Adelson Hospice uh, Benefit oh. Dinner. Okay. Uh, the entertainment part, and we had so much fun. Yeah, you sang. I did sing. I sang with uh, some incredible musicians. But Good. not only that, just watching the auction and all the items that were up for um, mm -hmm. the silent auction part raised a lot of money. It's great. it's a great cause and it yes. was a great turnout. I think it was uh, pretty well sold out. Very good. And everybody looked festive for the yes, holidays. For the holidays. So it was a lot of fun. So what did you do this weekend? Well, actually I went to church. Oh, well, that's also a great thing to do. And I played the organ <gasps> at the church. I played soft Christmas music. Wow. So they were saying... They asked you? Yeah, they said, we didn't know that you could do that. I said, well, I don't tell everybody everything I can do. That's great. <laughs> so we both had a little bit of music in our yeah. weekend. I learned myself. Uh, nobody taught me that. I just said uh, the same thing with piano. I told them. I said, I bought the books and I started. And, and there you go. There you go. I learned to read music. I said, I don't do it fast, though. That's the only thing. Oh, well, that's okay. But they enjoyed, hey, they like your music. I said, oh, okay. So that's what I did the weekend. Wow. Interesting. Yes. And speaking of being interested, we have an incredibly interesting show today. Yes. For those of you that uh, will recognize this name, Flo Provenza is with us. Mm -hmm. She is absolutely, I would say, one of the, oh, you could call her a historian. Okay. On things about Las Vegas and Pahrump Valley. Okay. Um, she's been here and has seen so much growth in the area, both in Vegas and here. So it'll be very interesting to talk to Flo. Also, we had a wonderful time in the kitchen. Where yes, were we? We were at the Nugget, and I want you to know that the food was delicious. And oh I, you know, they might have asked me back because I eat everything on the plate. Well, you'll <laughs> see it. You'll see it in this interview. But I mean, here's Al just scooping it up, <laughs> scooping it up. He doesn't even leave me any, and it was incredible way to do uh, salmon, a very healthy, healthy way of cooking. Yeah, well, I tried to leave you some, but you know. So that's going to be on our cooking segment, mm -hmm. as well as uh, Benders, the new club. They've got some exciting things happening there. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be speaking to the owners about all of their things yes, going on. Interesting there. It's interesting. Yeah. Definitely. And finally, we're getting somebody in here, hopefully, Bill with Community Dish, he's going to be telling us how we can help you find us on Channel 46 Digital. And uh, that should be some very informative information right there. Right. And I guess that uh, looks to be all the things that we're going to be doing today, other than just you and I having a good old time up here together. That's right. And also, folks, uh, I'm also with the Marine Corps League. And, oh, of course, since right. I'm a formal read and we're collecting toys for kids. That's right. Yeah, it so, is the time of the year. Yes. Yeah, so if you have, uh, and, of course, we were out in front of Walmart this past weekend mm -hmm. collecting toys. And people were very generous. We thought, even though there's, you know, what's going on in the economy, it was very good. But if you want to donate any toys or anything for the kids, all you have to do is call 760 382 Six two six five. That's seven six zero three eight two six two six five. Now it's a cell Rich phone Marie. number, so if you call in your cell, it won't be a long distance phone call. Right. There is a seven seven five number though too. Should they not use that? Well, it's kind of hard to catch him at home. He's oh, always okay. on the go. You know. So just remember places. the seven six zero three eight two six two six five is a cell phone number, but you can reach uh, Richard Rich on that. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, it is the time to give, and I, that's what it means. I love Christmas because mm -hmm. I love giving and being a part and helping people, and hopefully they'll help me. <laughs> <laughs> Lord knows I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> you weren't supposed to say that. You were supposed to say the giving to the kids and everything. Come on. You know me better than that. Of course, yes. I meant to the kids. It's yeah. all about the kids. That's right. And they can give money, too, if they want to. So we will be back after this commercial message. Stay with us. Welcome back to Young at Heart. My first guest is a woman that I have known for many, many years. Not seen for a little bit, but uh, she's with us today. Flo Provenza is a historian that I call her a historian because she knows so much about what has happened in this Valley of Pahrump as well as Las Vegas. And let me tell you, when I first got into real estate here myself, she taught me a lot of what went on and the hows and wheres and even some secrets and uh, some great stories. So you're a storyteller as well as a historian. <laughs> well, the kids kind of say I'm a blabber. <laughs> Well, that's okay because we're here in our living room and you can blab away as much as you want, but we got to do it within a certain amount of time. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just keep having you on and have a segment. We'll call it the flow segment. Well, I'll tell you what made me think about this when she mentioned something about it. I went to Las Vegas not long ago and I looked around and there were things that are so gone. Mm -hmm. And I think back to the things that the kids today don't know anything about. And we're not talking about the implosion of certain buildings. We're talking about natural, yes. beautiful landscaping yeah. of the area. And just the way life was. Mm -hmm. Just the way life was. So the first thing that came to my mind was to take my camera, because I paint. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I have never painted Dead Indian Mountain. And I want to paint that. So I started driving. And I got as far as almost up to Red Rock. And there was no clear view of Dead Indian Mountain. So from Red Rock and what would you be? I was at Charleston. Facing? Charleston and Yeah, oh, okay. and then I went back and forth on the 215 looking for a spot. Oh my. And you can't see it. So I went downtown and I had a friend that was working at the, at the federal building. Mm -hmm. So I went in and I went up and I went to as high as I could go. And I said, come here and look out the window. Can you see that over there? Do you see a dead Indian laying down with his head facing north and his feet south, his hands across his body, his headpiece going back? Oh, wow. He says, by God, yes, I see it. I said, how can I get a picture of it? Because I, my camera's not that good. He went to somebody in the federal building, and they came, and they took a picture. Oh, wow. I spent half the morning looking for it and couldn't find it. <laughs> So we but don't I have, have a, a picture. picture I can do a painting. <laughs> oh, okay, great. That's just one of the things I know. people don't know about. I know, and, and, but you know, Flo is also an incredible painter, so you can recreate that for us. Um, you've seen so many changes, and I know that there's so many stories we could talk about. Um, let's start, what do you want to start with? Well, another thing that nobody ever will know about anymore are the lions. The there lines? was an accident on the train track. Okay, when, where, what train track, where? Uh, there was a train track running through Las Vegas. There were a couple of them. Downtown area? Uh, this okay. one, yeah. Okay. So anyhow, uh, they had a wreck somewhere along the line coming into Vegas, and th it was a circus train. And the a couple of the lions got out. I think, let's see, one, two, three. I think three got out. Uh, they, they caught one. One completely disappeared uh -oh. until years later when some ranchers would report that they saw that lion. <laughs> and the third one went down to the south end of town and it climbed a tree on what is now Reno Street. There was a little ranch. Oh my. It climbed a tree and the man in the house saw the lion. He went and got his gun, which everybody had guns back then. <laughs> I think he they went still and got do. his gun <laughs> and he shot the blasted lion oh. in his tree with the claws dug in. Oh. I used to bring people, when people would come to visit, I'd say, hey, I gotta show you something. And I'd bring them down Reno Street between Maryland Parkway and Eastern, over on the left if you're going east. And there was, I'd say, see up in that tree? That's a lion. And it was still there. Whoa. <laughs> they left little by there. little, it started coming apart. <laughs> But only in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, only in Las Vegas. 
<laughs> now it's apartment buildings. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. Hardly anybody knows about that. Yeah, you know, all these cute little quirky stories. You should put a book together of all the little quirky stories that you've got about Las Vegas, as well as Pahrump. Well, uh, yeah. That could be two, volume two, <laughs> let alone. Speaking of Pahrump. <laughs> Speaking the, of Pahrump. <laughs> the first piece of land that we bought out here uh, was back when we were having a Cold War and we oh, were wow. concerned about atom bombs falling on us. And right, I was right. working at the security trying to find ways to find a way you could have a basement or a, a closed off space. Mm -hmm. Found out one interesting thing. What? Fram automobile filters were the best filters. The problem was with no electric, you got to do this. So to stay alive, you'd have to do that 24 Hans, hours oh a day. <laughs> Maybe two of them <laughs> if you had a lot of people, like I had a lot of kids. So <laughs> when did you move into the valley? Of uh, well, the first land we bought was back in uh, uh, late 60s. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we bought another piece of land and built on it. And we moved in there in the 70s. Right. But we were back and forth a lot. From Las Vegas, too. Yeah. yeah. Now, your husband, Pete, he started the first Italian club in the oh, valley? Oh, well, we, we had a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They actually had 35 members before we found out about it, and they had closed the charter. However, when they when we found out about it some of the people we were the town was divided to town people and strip people you might live in the town but you worked on the strip or you worked in the town right and, and this was probably during the time where people actually there were people that lived on the strip too oh yeah but yeah. not very many because there weren't wasn't anything out there right exactly isn't that amazing there was you know like the hacienda and I the remember. tropic <laughs> I remember the first time I visited Las Vegas, and that was probably in 78, 79. And it, it was pretty desolate still oh, on the yeah, strip. It was. I mean, you actually saw raw land in between Pete the casinos. Worked, his first job was at the Hacienda, and he came home on Maryland Parkway. Wow. And if it rained, I was a nervous wreck because there was a ditch going across Maryland Parkway. Oh, we know wash. well about those ditches, too, when it rains. It was bad. Yeah. The only buildings out there on one side of the road, on the west side of the road, there was a little building, I think they called it Maud Fraser Hall, oh, wow. and it was the first building of the university. Oh, wow. And then down a little further, the other side of Sahara, I think it is, was the hospital. And you could go to the front door and look through the hallway and see the back door. Amazing. And that was the hospital. Yeah. And so when Pete would come home late at night, because when some of his shifts ended at midnight, and if it rained, I was, you know, really nervous. Right. The town ended at Sahara. Oh gosh, isn't that amazing? That was it. That is so amazing. Yeah, it just ended at Sahara. Yeah. In North Las Vegas, there was her hardly anybody there. Hardly anybody in here. I walked all of Henderson in the political campaign. Amazing. Door to door. Now see, there's another story right in itself. We've got to have you back on the show because you also, who who is it that you worked well, for? Well, the, the first person I worked for was somebody running for judge. Right. Then I worked for Mirabelli. I was a Democrat at that time. Uh-huh. But after working for the Democrats, one of the nuns at the high school told me her brother was going to run for governor. Oh, wow. And that was? Paul Laxalt. That's right. Paul Laxalt. He I was a good stories. governor. Yes. Because of him, we have a medical school, mm -hmm. which my youngest daughter went to. That's right. And uh, Funny I Funny story about her daughter, too. You remember when I ran into in Louisville, Kentucky, where she was interning? Oh, yeah. And of all yeah. places, from Pahrump to Louisville, Kentucky, <laughs> I ran into your daughter, Faye. <laughs> She's in still, a restaurant. <laughs> she still bounces all over. Oh my uh, gosh. It's because she's uh, an emergency doctor. Right, yes. And they just, uh, they give her a list at the beginning of the month of where she she's can work if go. she wants to. Yeah. And then they send her there and get her a room and a car and all that. But it gets wearing after many years. So yes. now she's cut down to, since we're older, <laughs> she's afraid to go. Too far out of the. Too far away. <laughs> well, also Flo started uh, working in real estate in Pahrump also. And I just, I was telling Donna on our show the other day when Donna was here, I just remember the first time you took me out and you showed me the valley and you said, I'd take customers out and I'd stand them on this piece of property. And I would say, what do you think of the view? And they'd say, oh, it's really nice for you. And she said, well, within this mile radius is your lot. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> and you would take them out in your Mercedes over <laughs> these bumpy oh, roads. That, Do you remember? That was funny because I had to take it to town to get it fixed. And one day, <laughs> the mechanic was a trained 
Mercedes mechanic, and he just shook his head and he said, Flo, why don't you buy a Jeep? <laughs> Dust all over. I know, it was awful. Up and down hills. Oh my gosh, and we are so running out of time. This 10 minutes goes by two day gone fast. So, so we're, we want you to come back in two weeks. Can you come back and we can sure talk I more? Can. Sure Anytime can. you want to come, I would love to see. You've got so many stories. There's so much to talk about. And I think everybody out there would love to see you again. So stay with us. We'll be right back. And Flo Provenza. Welcome back to Young and Hard Folk. Uh, I'm Big Al. Well, Al, I said Big Al. There's Al, you know. Anyway, my next guest is Bill from Community Dish. Bill, welcome. Yeah, to I'm Young Big and Bill, Big Al. Big Bill, Big <laughs> Bill, Big Al. <laughs> welcome to Young and Hard. You bet. Yeah. Now, Bill, uh, I guess I'll start off uh, about uh, Dish and the converters and all that kind of thing. But uh, uh, the first thing I guess I want to ask you is that the government had these coupons. And uh, they said uh, they would give you a discount on the coupons for digital. That's correct. And the coupons are all gone. Wow. And they've been all gone. For a long time. For about nine months now. But we're getting our digital conversion February of next year. February mm -hmm. 8th is the date that Perump goes all digital. And wow. the analog channels are supposed to be gone. Wow. Um, so it's a big time for us. Las Vegas had their time uh, a little more than a year ago. Uh -huh. And uh, a couple of years ago, actually, and now it's uh, it's all the rural communities across the United States. Their turn to go digital. Mm. So, so tell me something about what people will need because if you say we are all going digital in February, what are some of the things that they might need? Uh, what do they need to know? Well, you know that's a good question. Um, you need a digital TV. If you don't have that, you'll need one of those digital converter boxes that mm -hmm. they sold, and you can't find those anywhere anymore because mm -hmm. nobody's selling them. If you got one, pull them out of the closet. It's mm -hmm. getting ready to use them. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a Dish Network subscriber, you can upgrade to a VIP receiver at Community Dish. We can do all the Dish Network upgrades, mm -hmm. and we can get Dish Network to subsidize the bulk of the cost of the upgrade. Mm -hmm. The equipment, the labor, the all, even the antenna needs to be upgraded. Mm -hmm. And then once you've got a VIP receiver, you can get an OTA tuner mm -hmm. that slots into that receiver. Mm. And it's a couple screws. We push that OTA in, and we connect that to either your exist your existing off-air antenna. Now, if you don't have an existing off-air antenna, we have those available at the store. They're very small. This is because of the new digital age. Everything gets smaller, and we have an off-air antenna. These antennas are just thirty dollars, so you mm. don't have to spend over a hundred dollars to get a good antenna. Wow! And these will bring in channel forty-six digitally clear. Wow! And that's the antenna. So this antenna connects to this OTA, mm -hmm. and then that puts channel forty-six in the guide of your receiver. Oh. So it's just like the Las Vegas channels, they are seamless. If you've got a VIP DVR, you can record on your DVR all the 46 content, including the news and your favorite shows. And you can watch those anytime you want. Hmm. So if I have an antenna, I mean, if I have a TV that's analog, this is how I would turn around and, and uh, receive the digital. Correct. With the, if you've got an analog TV, a VIP Dish Network receiver, and an OTA tuner will make that TV digital. You mm. don't need a digital TV. Mm. But if you've got one of the new digital TVs, they're great. That's it. Speaking of digital TV, let's go to the next one. That's a good lead in at that point. Mm -hmm. Let's go to. Don't fall now. Yeah, really. <laughs> We can do that. Mm -hmm. We have 3D TV at the store. 3D. We've got it set up. You can demo it. You can come in and take a look. It is mm -hmm. fantastic. Wow. Our 3D TVs are made by Sony. Mm -hmm. um, they're rated number one by Consumer Reports for televisions this year, both 3D and standard. Hmm. And we have both of those sets in 46 and 55 inch. 
Come on down to the store, put on some glasses, have fun. Give the address of your store just first. We'll do it again, but I want you to start now. Yeah, it's 311 South Frontage Road. Now, mm. the best way to find us is right across the street from Sonic Drive-In that's in front of right, Walmart. Right. And there's that great big, huge 10-foot satellite dish that's I've now that. off the roof and down <laughs> on the road. Right. And so that's the store, and you find it there. We, a lot of people pay their water bill in our store, and that's mm. great. While they're there paying your water bill, you can look at 3D TV. Mm. Or if you want, you can make a special trip down. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> She's giving me cues. Yep. <laughs> we got some great prices on 3D TV. <laughs> yeah. Should we go to the next one? Don't go. You said you got some great prices on. <laughs> yeah. 3D TV. Sony's making us a great deal on them. We got some great bargain prices. We can compete with the large box stores on them. We've got them in stock and available and uh, we can get you set up. If you buy the TV, we'll bring it out, we'll hook it up, we'll make it work, we'll show you how to run it. Try to get that from Fry's. Can't Whoa, do it. Can't do it. No. Nope. Uh, when you say 3D, I mean, you, don't have, you don't use glasses on this type of... Uh, Actually, you do, an electronic glasses, yeah, to, to bring that in, and it yeah. puts the picture in your living room wow. instead of in the TV. It's, is this almost like... Uh, what do you call it? The sound where you have a surround sound, you know, the 3D. It is. I mean, when you're watching the picture and everything. Absolutely. <laughs> if you've got surround sound, you got 3D, yeah. and you're watching a um, a military uh, battle, right. you better be you have your flak jacket on, <laughs> right? Because you'll be under the sofa in no time. Right. I kind of remember when you talk about 3D <laughs> coming into Pahrump, uh on the, I guess on Blue Diamond way you come to, to the mountains I, I guess that's where the bikes the, the, the bike bike cyclist the bikers who ride the little uh, bicycles and it looks like 3d when you look at this one mountain here then you look at the one in the back there. yeah yeah, yeah, that yeah kind I of get thing. that you yeah. bet oh, okay you bet. okay moving right along we got some more stuff here okay Christmas is waiting okay we have um, External hard drives, if you have a Dish Network receiver and you've got a VIP DVR, in this case a 722 or 622, if you don't know if you have one of those, come down to the store, we'll tell you. If you're running out of hardware space to store your shows, mm -hmm. we have Seagate drives available. They're on sale for $99. They will mm -hmm. store 1,000 hours of video on these. Huge amount of video. You can move it from your heart, from your hard drive on your satellite receiver onto this, and you can access this just like the hard drive that's built into the receiver. It's just as easy. Fantastic product. And there will be there is also a th uh, a fee for a software upgrade through Dish Network of forty dollars for mm -hmm. these. So those are available. Great uh, Christmas item. Mm -hmm. Going on to the next thing. You bet. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> this is awesome. This is Google TV. It's new out this year. It uh, uses Google search technology, but it, it's all the software is made by Apple. Mm -hmm. And so it has the flying app feel on the iPhone that everybody loves so much. It's easy to use. It makes all the video content on the web available through your satellite receiver. This requires a VIP 722 receiver. It's the only one it will work on. Uh, again, we can get you subsidized on that, that 722 upgrade through Dish Network. Uh, Google TV is a $299 ticket price, but if you're a Dish Network customer, we can get Dish to pay for a big chunk of that $299. Ooh. That brings yeah. this down to $179, because wow. Dish Network is buying all of their customers mm -hmm. a Google TV Christmas present. Wow. Isn't well, that sweet? Well, that sounds good. Big, big news. Yeah. You got one more thing before the time runs out here? OK, the last thing I have is the Slingbox. Now, 
Sling, many of you might have seen the ads on TV for Sling. What it does is when it's attached to your VIP 722 receiver, you can watch your TV anywhere you go. You can watch on your laptop, you can watch it on your, your cell phone, you can watch it on your iPad. You, anywhere that you have a Wi-Fi connection, uh -huh, you, you can watch it. So the next time you're in a doctor's office, you don't want to touch those nasty magazines in the doctor's office. Yuck. Believe me, that's the last thing you want yeah. to touch yeah. is the magazine. So yeah. whip out your iPad, go to yourdishnetwork.com, and watch all the television shows on your DVR. Well, I tell you, Bill, I appreciate all this information. I'd have to have you come back again and um, tell us some more about what's going on there at DISH and also how to hook up this kind of thing because I know we you know, need to do it again. Yeah. So thanks again. Bill. You bet. Take care. Thank you. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back once more. Yes. With the Al and Lynn show. Yes. See, I gave you top billing. Well, you did, and I Isn't appreciate that. Nice? that. Yes, you should that because nice. I love you. Yes, and I love you too. <laughs> Yes. Well, this next interview, again, a wonderful uh, couple that have started a new, ben, uh, new business called Benders. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you haven't been out there yet, it's a great new uh, bar in town, and they've mm -hmm. got all these exciting things going on. Mm -hmm. So let's get to that interview. What do you think? Hey, that's a very good idea because they have some interesting things going. Absolutely. Welcome back to Young at Heart. Myself, Al, and I are here with the owners of Benders, the new club in town, Barbara and Jason Hauser. How are you all doing today? Good. Okay, good. Very good. Now, Al, I don't know if you know this, but it's been basically exactly one month Yes. yes that you all have been open. So mm -hmm. um, how's it going? Actually doing very well. Doing really good. We're picking up during the week, just like we wanted. Um, of course, our Friday and Saturday nights are very busy, so it's coming along real good. That's great. To, now, here you've got a whole bunch of ideas or things that are starting to go on with uh, promoting the bar and getting people in here and right. some fun, sporty things. Um, well, we can go through the list. I mean, it looks like, what do you think, Al? Well, Every I night think of the week? Yeah, I, I, I think there's some. But the one thing that uh, I was thinking about the, uh, is that on Fridays you have, uh, is that the dancing that you have there? Yes. You know, what kind of dancing? I, uh, what we, types of dancing? We have a... Um, a gentleman that comes in and teaches two-stepping, uh -huh. uh, line dancing from six to seven, and then from seven to nine is when they, they do their line dancing, just, you know, anybody and stuff, so it's pretty neat. Uh -huh. Oh, that sounds like Yeah, fun. we have a huge oh, dance yeah. floor, so they, they definitely take advantage of it. <laughs> uh, now, now there's another thing for you and Al, or you and Al. I'm Lynn, that's Al. <laughs> for you and I to do maybe together. <laughs> you know, I've, I've never been able to two-step. I've tried it before, yeah. and it's, it looks like a lot of fun, but yeah, I don't know what does. it is. It's mm -hmm. yeah, in my younger days, yeah, I had two-step. Two-stepping? Not that, that. You're I, a two-stepper? Just two-stepper. Yeah. And I learned all that myself. Well, yeah. not only the dance classes on Friday, but you also have, why don't you go down the list if, and tell us some of the things that you do Monday through Sunday. Okay, um, Mondays we have open pool, um, and that's all day from 1 till whenever we close. Uh, we also on Monday have Monday Night Football. Um, Tuesdays we have Ladies Night, that's an all day from 1 till whenever. you. It's buy one, get one free, drink or well drink, or draft or well drink. Um, we have Wednesday, the Big Band Era, which just goes from like the 20s all the way to the 60s, um, and there's dancing. Now, would, are these live bands that you're going to be doing, or is it right uh, now a DJ? It's DJ, yeah. DJ. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have something really for everybody from the youngsters, in a sense, what youngsters Well, I'd I mean, say over 21. Well, that's right. what yeah. I mean. Youngsters, yeah. I was going to say that. Youngsters, yeah. 30, you know, yeah. not the seniors <laughs> like the kids, even something for the seniors like myself. Well, yeah, for, like the big yeah. band dancing big band, and the line. Ding, ding, even the line ding, dancing ding, would be ding, a lot ding, of fun ding, for, ding, you know, yeah. keep you keep those <laughs> old bones from cricking oh, and moving. How dare you call my bones old? I was talking about mine, oh, okay. not yours. <laughs> all right, Jeez. that's different. Okay, all right. Okay, that sounds good. Now, also, the things that are going to be coming, you know, later. You were talking about like a that. cute little idea. I don't know. You've got to tell us where this came from. Where did it come from? Goldfish DJ? racing. The goldfish yeah, actually, racing. Actually, i, I got to give the credit to where DJ, he actually came up with that. Uh -huh. um, I said he's, he's been to him before in uh, other states. And what it is is uh, obviously two troughs that uh, 
individual goldfish in each trough. Uh, you lift it up. Uh, you got to chase these goldfish with a straw, of course, <laughs> till, till the finish line. Um, at that point, the, uh, the loser would have to buy the, the, uh, the winner a beer. Oh, that sounds that just sounds good. like fun. Yeah. Like now, did uh, everybody has to bring their own goldfish? No, we provide <laughs> the goldfish. We'll provide the goldfish. Well, you know, some goldfish. people have pet goldfish instead <laughs> of dogs and cats. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah. have their own fish. Do they, is, is there a regulation size then? That they, <laughs> and wait. Well, Do they get that's what, that's yeah. So. yeah, we're going to provide the goldfish, so they'll probably be all the same size. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, it's a five dollar cover charge to get in, but yeah. it's fifty cent drafts through the entire um, oh, wow. racing. Oh. Wow! Right. And you're going to inspect the straws and everything, make yeah, sure that yeah. they don't have any like little. <laughs> but we'll supply the straws <laughs> and the goldfish. No <laughs> cheating! No, no cheating! cheating. No. <laughs> yeah, I remember there used to be a thing called turtle races or something yeah, like that dun, back dun, in the dun, 60s dun, or whatever and that's yeah. like a new take on that, that oh, wow. sounds like that would be just yeah. hilarious yeah now on the each day of the week uh, i'm just curious to find out is there different kinds of music played on each day of the week different or or is it just uh, each day pretty much the just same. a schedule you know uh, okay. obviously wednesdays is is uh 50s and 60s right mm -hmm. uh, thursdays is pretty much open mm -hmm. um just depends on the crowd that's in here. Mm -hmm. right, if we right. have the younger crowd and they prefer the rock music, mm -hmm. our DJ will do that for them. I mean, it just depends on what crowd's in here and what mm -hmm. they prefer to listen to. Mm. What's up there, Jason? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <He's spacing laughs> we out, lost huh? him for a minute there. He was spacing out. I was like, okay, he's been staying up too late. <laughs> yeah, that we have. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, if it, a lot of people don't know this, but you guys are from Pahrump. Correct. Correct. You yeah. are. Wow. They're, they're ri originals. Mm -hmm. Original from Pahrump. Yes. Originally from Pahrump. So you kind of know this town. You know right. the feel and the pulse of this town. Because this is not an easy venture that you've taken underfoot, you right. know, especially no. in this time no. of the economy. Right. Um, what made you decide to do it now? We decided because we wanted to work for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we might as well just take the jump now mm -hmm. instead of just keep procrastinating. And so that's why we, we just... We took the challenge now, mm -hmm. so. But I think with what they have to offer here, I don't think that that's bad. I mean, no, as far as I people know. will be able to afford to come here, because look, I mean, prices are, are prices are, are good. good. They're good. Great and environment. Yeah, good fun. environment. Fun. 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 Yeah. Yeah. People still have to have fun. That's so true. You do see your dream coming to fruition. Yes. And, and, it, and you're pleased uh -huh. with everything oh, that's yes. going on. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, that is just incredible. And you guys, wait till you see this dance floor. I'm telling you, it's big enough to fit uh, probably a good 40 people, wouldn't you say? Oh, or, yeah, at least. We can open it up also. Yeah. You can yeah. open it up. Yeah. You do have to the space. More. At least. Yeah. So, and, you know. And, and with that dance floor, you know, I like to say they have the different color lights that, you know, that uh, set the mood. For you. Right. you know, or make it dizzy. <laughs> yeah. make Either one. Yeah. It depends on if you the have mood. to drink. Come on, it's the mood that will set the mood for you. you know? Set the mood. <laughs> you know, I, I think sure. I like that. Yeah. Sure. Now, uh, I guess the other thing is that uh, on Monday's night is football. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, yes, we got to remember Monday yeah, night football. Monday night football. Mm -hmm. And along with that is uh, uh, where they can come in. And uh, and have a normally on football you have beer, right? You have a beer, right? And you have all kinds of beer. Yes, <laughs> beer. we have all kinds of beer. <laughs> I think <laughs> he's, doing, he's been <laughs> drinking too much beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, beer. That's not like yeah, beer, beer. Monday night. That's right. And the ladies' night on Tuesday. <coughs> I must not forget you. Don't forget ladies' night on not. Tuesday. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be here with twinkle toes. Two for toes. one. Twinkle. <laughs> Twinkle toast. Or with my toast twinkling. <laughs> twinkling so forth like that. Um, do you find, as far as, uh, once again, I'm talking about dancing and the dance floor and everything, do you find that uh, that your guests, they enjoy dancing? And uh, as far as the group is going, especially the, the, those who are, what do you say, elderly? Mm-hmm. Uh, who will love to dance because there isn't any place else that they can dance too much. That's true. So like you are seeing an older crown on Yes, I am. On yes. Wednesdays, okay. yes. Wow. And they're they're loving it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't yeah. feel intimidated by no. the... Uh, and it's it's not the atmosphere, but it is kind of a rock atmosphere. Right. Rock and roll atmosphere. And, you know, sometimes people walk in and they would go, oh, no, 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 no. And it's like, hey, hey, no, hey, they're hey, for hey, you. I haven't had any, here. not one complaint no. hey, yet. Hey, so. hey, oh, okay. hey, 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 listen, listen. 
Well, Us seniors enjoy that rock and roll. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> well, I do. We do. Come on, come on. I we do. do. <laughs> I mean, you know, there are even senior seniors like myself. I'm just trying to dispel the yes, myth yes. that, you know, that you can't come out and enjoy yourself if you're of a certain age and you walk into a, a beautifully well done bar area like this. That There are bars that you can come in and feel comfortable. I'm sure right. feel like you're at home, not feel like you're going to get pressured or right. that you're out of place. And that's what I'm trying to get across. Yeah. Well, I guarantee what we're shooting for. That's Absolutely. Right. I guarantee that they won't have any problems here because it's fantastic from what I could see. Did you guys give him a drink before we started this? <laughs> it was just coffee. Why? It was just <laughs> coffee. <laughs> yep. You are cut off decaf only. Oh, okay. Seriously. <laughs> Do you see what i got to put up with every Monday? <laughs> I heaven. love you, Al. You know I love you. I do too. I mean, you. <laughs> you know, if we ever lose this gig, he could be a sound man. You know, right. all the crazy sounds behind the scenes. I just can't help it. You know, I can't help it. Oh what goodness. are some of the other things that you think that people need to know that would bring them up? There are other little things I know that maybe we forgot to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Private parties. Oh. Yeah, private Party? parties. Party? Um, ah. Yeah, for the holidays, we're mm -hmm. absolutely. We're willing to do that, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Private parties. So are you going to do like package deals that yes. come with that? Yes, mm -hmm. right. Depending on what cater they want to use, because, uh -huh. you know, we don't have a restaurant, so right. we do have to cater the food in, but mm -hmm. absolutely, private parties. And you are allowed to do that? Yes. Under yes. the auspice of a private party? Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're allowed to do that, so Good. that's going to be nice. Well, give them oh, the absolutely. telephone number to call for these private parties, so they'll know what to call. What and we'll also call. put it up, too. Yeah. Okay. We'll put that up. All right. You know, we're... Yeah. Uh, so is it the, just the main number here? Yeah, it's 751-4700. 751 mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful. Have you had any private parties yet? No, but I do it? have one booked oh, already. Great. So, ah. yes. Oh, great. Yeah. So That's it is getting great. out there. Our name mm -hmm. is finally getting out there. So it's so nice. how will that affect your business, though, if you're, you're, you're shutting down the actual building for a private party? Or are you planning on doing a separate section? Or is it? Right. Yes. Yeah. Whatever side they prefer. Okay. We're just going to shut down to them. Probably mm -hmm. the, the the side with the dance floor. Yeah. You know, yeah. obviously. Um, but it depends. During the week, it shouldn't be any problem. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and then some parties don't mm -hmm. want us to shut down. Right. You know, oh, or yeah. at a certain time. Yeah. You right. know, open their party ends at nine, and then open it up right. to everybody else after nine. Which, you know, we're open mm -hmm. for anything. So. Yeah. I bet your your sessions together are kind of like are you brainstorming constantly, constantly. things to do. <laughs> It's gonna be kind of fun. Yeah, we have to. You yeah, know, I yeah. got. You got to keep it, you know, ongoing. Keep it up to date and all this great stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think it's fabulous. Congratulations for Thank being you. open this month, and we look forward to seeing all the great things that are <laughs> going to happen here with your great ideas. And come on out and to Benders, and they've got pool. If you like to play pool, it's a lot of fun. Dancing, mm -hmm. dancing, mm -hmm. all these great activities, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that. Uh, you can find out more if you come and visit or give them a call. <laughs> <laughs> Private yes. parties, it is the holidays coming up. That's right. So we thank you for joining us today. Well, Al, I think, uh, you know, like I said in the interview, we should both go down there and yes. check out the dancing. We'll mm -hmm. be right back after this commercial message. Stay with us. Welcome back to Young at Heart. That was interesting information yes. that you got from uh, Bill at yes. uh, Community Dish. And That's right, very interesting. I learned a lot, so, you know, and might have some Christmas presents there. Yes. Now, our next segment was our cooking segment, and we did that at the uh, Perump Nugget with they Chef Bill. Yes. And uh, Dina was there, who is the, yeah, the uh, general manager of food and beverage. And so, this is a health cooking segment I think that you will be surprised with. It's incredible. So here we go to that one. Hi folks, Big Al here with of course Lynn and of course Dana. We're here at the Prompt Nugget and of course can't forget the name of Chef Bill. I used to call him Phil but his name is Bill and I'm here with Dana who is the director of food and beverage. Hey I said it right that time. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> what are we going to do here today Miss Dina? Well Chef is going to make you some salmon and he's going to show you how to prepare some salmon that we do here at the Nugget at the Steakhouse. And while he's doing that, I'll give you some extra tips in case you would like to not eat here every night, which we would love to have you. But if you want to make some fish at home, I'm going to give you some tips on how to do it. So Chef's going to start by just showing us a few tricks on how to get your salmon prepared. The salt and pepper is really the easiest, right? 
Chef, that's the most simple seasoning you can use. Everybody's got it. Just black, black pepper yep. and salt is the best seasoning you can use. Now, to tell people where they can buy, get their seafood, where's the best place to uh, well, purchase Well, you know, there's some myths about fresh seafood and frozen seafood, okay? If you know your butcher real well, then you might want to work with the fresh seafood. Gotcha. Um, but to be honest with you, the frozen seafood in your market is probably fresher than what the fresh is in the counter. Wow, okay, okay. so it, people so, should not be afraid to get frozen fish. Absolutely, absolutely. Is there a particular thing that you look for? Like if it's... Well, you see the color, this is a salmon. Right. You want to you see that nice pink color, okay, in uh -huh. there. Um, it, it, if you see darkness around it, I would stay away from it. Okay. okay. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put this... We cook our salmon here on a cedar pine, okay, which enhances the flavor a little bit. So we're going to take this, it's an eight ounce piece of salmon, we're going to put it in the oven. It takes about 12 to 14 minutes to cook in the oven. Now were you heating that uh, the cedar plank first before putting the salmon no, on it? No, no, no. We just put it right on there like that. Ah, Dina gets to do some yeah, of the work for you. Yeah, put her to work there. <laughs> All right, so Chef Bill, you just put the salmon into the oven. Or actually, Dina put the salmon in. I was helping in. you. She's yeah. a Bill's helper. Yeah. So what else do we do? Now, how long do you usually cook the salmon? The salmon will take about 12 to 14 minutes at a 350 degree temperature. Do you need to turn it or just no, leave it like it is? No, just leave it just like it is. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some sides to go with our salmon. Now what we use here is we make a vegetable stock that we heat our rice and our broccoli with. Now the broccoli we have pre-blanched, which you can do this at home ahead of time. And then all you have to do is reheat. Right. Okay. So how do you pre-blanch? Just uh, just briefly? Like we we a put it in, in water. Oh, okay. When it comes to a boil, it takes about five to seven minutes and it's nice and it's still nice and green looking. But it's just when this is ready, the bite will be magnificent. Here, I'm gonna feel it. I'm gonna feel through your gloves. Or no, I can't. Since you're gonna eat this, Al, I can touch your food, right? No. No. <laughs> then you feel it. I want to see what it feels like. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding with you. Here, go ahead. <laughs> you know so me. We're gonna put a little vegetable stock in each one of these saute pans. Now, this vegetable stock has no saturated fats in it whatsoever. So how do you make vegetable stock? Well, what we do here is we start out with water, we boil it, and we add carrots, celery, onions, and we boil it down until all the flavors from the vegetables go into the water. And then we use that as a stock to heat up our side dishes and our rice. And you can keep that uh, for how long? Uh, if you keep it refrigerated, it'll last seven, ten days. Okay, that's a good okay. thing to know. And for those of us that don't have time maybe to do it, you could probably get the low sodium style uh, stocks at the store. Absolutely. Yeah, I noticed that they are giving you that option now. Okay. One nice thing to remember is that you can do a lot of things healthier that are your favorites that weren't always healthy. Uh, a lot of people are afraid to go out and buy fish of any kind or salmon. You can buy salmon by the piece. They call it a steak. You can buy it, you know, whole, and you can do a lot of different things with it. People don't realize what to look for, and the best thing to look for is that it is dark pink in color. You don't want any gray or uh, browning to your fish because that's not good. You want to make sure it's got a nice marbling to it without a lot of fat, and then you'll get a great fish. If you want to, you can do everything from pan fry. You can bake it. You can saute it. Uh, you can put it in a broiler. If you like a marinade, you can marinate it in a little olive oil, lemon juice, and some herbs. Wow, that yeah. would be wonderful. Mrs. Dash makes a great uh, set of no salt seasonings. Mm -hmm. And there's two other things you can do if you might, Alan, then I'll let you ask me a question. <laughs> you can wrap it in paper and bake it, oh. which is great. Or if you want to get fancy, and it is not, it's probably not the healthiest version, but it's not awful for you. A little bit of cream cheese on your salmon with some fresh spinach and basil and wrap it in the puff pastry and you bake it and it makes wow. a beautiful 
wow factor at the dinner party. Yeah, well, when it's I want to ask him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. Now, when I was going to ask him how he's cooking the rice there, is there any special kind of rice that you cook? Well, uh, I'll this? let Chef tell you about our rice because it's really quite good. And it's not your typical white rice, which is not the greatest rice for you. There's no help. There's no benefit. It's a long grain wild rice and a parboiled rice. Mm -hmm. um, there's many different rices out there that you could use. Um, just your normal store bought rice that's in a box. Comes with your little seasoning packets in it. Just follow the directions, it's mm -hmm. real easy to do. And, you know, there's several different flavors out there to use. So the long grain wild rice is, it has some benefits to it, like a brown rice or uh -huh. something like that would have? Well, a lot of people like the wild rice. Right. Okay, right. which gives you a dark rice and a white rice mixture. So it's very nice also. And this is fascinating. I, you know, he's been sauteing with just that vegetable stock, not even using any oils whatsoever. Yep. And um, I guess here, if, now does he cook like this all the time for the restaurant or can yes. you ask that? Well, no, this is how they make the sides every day. But so there are some no things. There is, nope, if you wow. would like it, we can. Wow. Remember too, that there are some fish dishes on our menu that have a preparation. For example, the orange ruffy is potato wrap. Mm. If you don't want to do that for health reasons, you can just ask for the orange ruffy grilled up with some blackening spice. Mm -hmm. uh, they can do the salmon that way or the mm. halibut. And Lynn, I think you said you had the halibut. You oh my it. God, the halibut was incredible. I mean, and I, just, I even asked our waiter, Dana, who we've known for years, I said, how do they prepare? Because I am very fickle about oils and grease and blah, blah, blah. And he, when he told me, I said, bring it on. It was incredible. It was so, so good, Bill. Now we have our, our rice and our vegetable. You can see that gives your plate a nice color. It's very healthy. Right, right. So then our, right, the our rice, our salmon is done. So we'll take our salmon. Right yeah, we don't want to like run out that. of time before Al can try this delicious dish. And we'll put that right on there like that. Now you've got color on the plate. It's all healthy. I wish people could smell this. That's what's so incredible is how there. simple it was to make this dish and just the smell of the rice and the and the broccoli and the salmon is just incredible. And fresh I, lemon is going to add to your all your stuff on that plate. The broccoli, your fish, your rice. Oh. Now this is served in the there you are. You steakhouse. Have a beautiful plate. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm yeah, ready. Very we, healthy. We do serve this in the steakhouse. We usually <laughs> offer it teriyaki or lemon pepper, but you can have it just sautéed with put black a and lemon? spice. Okay. She's asking, can she have lemon? You I, good with I, the lemon? I would like the lemon, the okay. lemon. How's that? All right. All right. Dig yes, in. The lemon. I let her go first. Dig huh? in. Try the rice. You'll love it too. Mm. I do this for you, folks. Not necessarily alone for myself. And remember, mm. do not be afraid to go to the store and buy fish. It's very, very good for you. It's good for your heart. See, they're going to eat it all. I'm telling you, it's incredible. The, the, are you with us? Mm -hmm. Are you in La La Land? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this rice just done in the vegetable stock is so tasty. It's incredable. Do you want it, Dean? Like it. No, I'm going to have it for dinner later. Oh, okay. I, I okay. think I am too. With the time we have left, tell us once again where this is. In the steakhouse. We serve, you want us to know. we serve this in the steakhouse. at Stockman Steakhouse. We're open every night of the week. We have a new chef, actually, that's one of the assistants to Chef Bill. His name is Chef Kendrick. He comes from Las Vegas. We're very happy to have him here, and he's working closely with Chef to continue to bring you some amazing food. And we look forward to seeing you again next month with our next healthy and we, item. We are going to box this up so we can take it with us. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, <laughs> remember, yeah, remember, folks, Crump Nugget is located at Highway 372 and Highway 160. It's kind of hard to miss. the telephone number is 751-650. I'm holding his hand in case he has an elliptic or what a, kind of, some kind of attack. I mean, That's right, folks. See you at the call. steakhouse. Okay. Bye, everybody. I got an itchy nose again. <laughs> that She's means a comeback. Gonna, yeah. That means you're going to receive something. Uh, cut. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, as you can see, because oh. I ate all the food and everything, you had a comment about that. Now, I don't know why. Just well, no, it I, was I, good. Yes, it was did. very good, and yes. I did get, I, I got my fork in there, too. It, yeah, you did. The, the, the smells were incredible. It was just yes. wonderful. 
So now we're gonna go to our commercial break and we'll be back after this. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. And here we are, back yes. again. Back again. And did you notice that we've got a most festive background? A little different, yes. I think, from the other day or, yes. or not. But it's still, you know, that's the Christmas holiday coming up and that wonderful spirit and yeah. We should do, a, I'm telling you, we should do a song together. We should do a Christmas. Well, let's just break out in song when we get closer to Christmas. When we get How's closer, that? we'll do that. We'll okay. do Noel, we'll do a just Silent Night or something. Now, something I bet you nice. we could harmonize. I bet you yes. we could. I mean, you surprise everybody with your organ playing. And uh, <laughs> yes. Which organ did you play, by the way? I had uh, <laughs> the one, the church. Yeah, yuck. He didn't get it. No, I, I didn't. <laughs> like your, <laughs> your lung, <laughs> your kidney. <laughs> Ah, just a reminder, we do, again, you know, all these wonderful activities that Ben's, Benders, I keep right. wanting to say Ben's, but that's benders. like Mercedes Ben's, right. Benders, yeah. that they've got going. What do they have going now? Well, ladies night, two for one, mm. things like that. Uh, then they even have some things that's going. That's on Tuesdays, though. That's only, on Tuesday right? night, yeah. And uh, on Monday? Monday, they open pool and... Uh, Football. football. That's right. Oh, football. that's right. Monday night football. It goes for like Open forever. Pool on the football. On the football. Yeah. And watch 41 there. We're getting fed by our producer, like, okay, don't forget, don't forget. Yeah, no. well, that's yes, true. they've got it all set up. Uh, you know, Community Dish went out there and set up their uh, TV screen. So now that you can get channel 41 and 46 while you're out there having fun. That's right. And on Thursdays, what? Thursday, we have a live. Uh, Fish race. Goldfish racing. I am so <laughs> in on that. Fact. I'm so in on that. That's I want to go there. I want to. I'm going to name my goldfish though. That's an idea. Yeah. Fifty cent draft beer. Yes, during the race. During, yeah, the, during race. the race. Hey, that's great. And <laughs> what? Oh, and there's going to be a seal on the bathroom. Not a seal like a. What? How? Do, what noise <laughs> do they make? <laughs> oh, they're sealing the bathroom doors, and so it's fifty cent draft beer during the race, or until. Someone, the first one that has to go to the bathroom breaks a seal. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> doors are broken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> meaning if the, oh, oh, the seal on the doors are broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get it right now. Well, man. you know, it's Pat's writing, for goodness sake. Yes. We're going to send her to uh, No, it's good. School. You just have to know. Friday, Study. six to seven, two-step classes, yes. two line dancing on Tuesdays, 9.30. So there's there's dancing, step class, wait, I don't get two-step class on Friday, line, line dancing, dancing on Tuesdays? Yeah, 9.30. Oh, okay. Yeah. DJs on Saturday evenings to all those great hip rock hop. and roll, t roll right. tunes or hip and hop, hip hop. Right. <laughs> hip hop. And on, uh, on oh, Saturday. Sunday is a Latino Latin, night. It's Latin, Latin night. Sí. Oh, I like that one. We can do the salsa and the, da, 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 all that good stuff. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining us. We've had so much fun today. Yes, we have. We love you out there. Yes, we do. And I love this guy here. And I love this lady here. I know. We're having. We're just having a love fest. Ooh, wait, wait, she just stretched. She said, lot of fun. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Join Linda now next week for another entertaining and informative hour of Young at Heart. Have a good day. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart.